Hi everyone, my name is Teresa Sidario and I am your Jersey Mama. And today I am cooking teriyaki spare ribs with a brown um, brown sugar topping cooked in the oven for uh, at, on low at 300 for about four hours. And what and I'm also making a butternut squash that is in the in like a spiral spaghetti. Hi everyone, thank you for jumping on board. And I'm mixing it up with some shrimp. Some people had asked me to make something healthy. Um, as you can be see the size of me. Um, <laughs> find it very hard. Very hard to cook healthy. I do have my moments, however, but unfortunately, uh, sometimes it just doesn't come out that way. I um, kind of like the the food that tastes good and unfortunately a lot of the food that we do eat have um, butter in it and some things that are just not as healthy as, uh, as others. So um, let me just wash my hands because I did touch my hair and I don't want anybody to say anything about me touching you know my hair and then touching the food. So I just want to let everybody know that I am not a nutritionist. I am not a um, I am not a chef. Can, and can everybody hear me? If you can, can you hear me? Okay. I'm sure that if you can't, um, my daughter Deanna will call me on the cell phone like she did last, last week saying that I can't hear you. So if you can, just say yes, I can hear you. Um, let me just turn the volume up on this. Oh, here we go. There we go. So, okay, so what I'm going to, what I did was I had gotten uh, my spare ribs from my favorite, favorite pork. Um, she, she owns, uh, it's, it's called um, Circle B Ranch Pork or Cir yeah, Circle B Ranch Pork uh, dot com. I know that's where, uh, where I get mine. They're free range. They're organic. Um, they're, you know, they don't have a lot of fat on it. They're non preservative And, you know, that I try to do. I try to eat. And thank you, Rebecca. I'm loud and clear now, huh? Okay. So I try to, I try to buy most of my products organic or, um, grass fed or, you know, somewhere healthier than what they sell in the supermarket. So, um, what I did was, this is from Circle B Ranch Pork. Dot com. She makes them, she, it's a free range. Am I repeating myself? I think I am. Oh, blessed mother. Okay, so anyway, um, I like her, her product. I like it because there's not a lot of fat on it. The flavor is just there. I've never tasted a flavor of pork the way I did with her products than any other place. So um, I placed an order, and one of them was going to be uh, ribs. So, hi, Andrew. How are you? I will include in the comments where her place is. So, if anybody wants to go to her website and then per purchase any product from her, that's fine. Um, she has some really great chutneys and some uh, barbecue sauce. Unfortunately, I already used her barbecue sauce. And I should have thought about this when I, when I was doing the pork. But um, I did something different. So in my bag, and what I did overnight was I got teriyaki, ginger, um, sliced a, a, a couple cloves of garlic, some onion, and um, I believe I put a little bit of soy sauce in here as well, and, I, and some olive oil, and I let that marinate. I only put like a drizzle of olive oil. You really don't even need it, you know. I just do it for flavor purposes, but, um, and then what you do is you get a can, I put that in there. Get a pan and I line it with tin foil. And then I am going to place this spear rib. Look at that big, beautiful rib. This is the baby back rib. And then I'm going to take this juice that I marinated with. And I'm not going to add any salt or pepper because of the teriyaki and what I put on top of it, only because of the fact of the saltiness, so you have to worry about, um, you know, how much sodium you put in. And my rag. I am going to add a little bit of pepper.
And then what you're going to do is you want to start this early. So you are all you're going to do is wrap this up. I already made one earlier because I want to be able to show you because this does take what the heck is on the screen? Hold on. I spent okay. There was a little black mark on the screen. Um, because this has to cook for four hours, um, I don't. I just wanted to be able to. wrap it up and show you something to eat because what I have going on the side with the butternut uh, squash is a little different and it doesn't take long so this is going to be another quick one okay we're going to throw that in a 300 degree oven for about four hours now of course the stuff that you're going to get might vary so make sure you you check on it because some of you buy from the supermarket and there is more meat on those on the the, the, uh, the meat on the bones there. They're different. It's because it's not not grass fed. I hate to tell you, I'm a little partial. So anyway, now what I'm going to do is I have here and I purchased purchased this. I didn't do it. I can't, I moved in, I moved from my one house, my big house to my little house. And for some reason, I can't find the shredder. I have one, bought one of those spaghetti shredders and those zucchini shredders to make the spaghetti. I can't find it anywhere. So this is what I'm going to do. So I, I bought it at the supermarket. So you can buy this package at the supermarket. I have chopped up a half an onion and one clove of garlic. When I tell you how fast this is, this is fast. You're going to shoot some olive oil in there. Turn on the flame. I know my husband hates that. I don't know why. I, I like that ticking sound, right? Don't you like that ticking sound? Let me get this. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll use, no, I won't use that one. I'll use this one instead. Okay. You're going to saute your olive oil, onion, and garlic. Add a little bit of salt to this. In fact, I'm going to add it to this instead. You're going to add some salt. The last time somebody complained that I used too much salt on this, because I kept on grinding it and grinding it, and I forgot to take the lid off. <laughs> Just let you to know, you got to take the lid off of that stuff. And here's some cracked pepper. Uh, nothing smells better than onion and garlic and olive oil. I'm sorry. I don't think any food could taste that taste differently or have that flavor that you have when you mix those ingredients together. Okay. Then I'm going to throw this in here. You're going to make this cook. In with the olive oil, garlic, and onion. Can everybody see this better? Can anybody can everybody agree that is this a better angle? And you can hear the sizzle. Yes, Rebecca. Um, hi, Nance. Uh, can you hear the sizzle? I mean, you can't hear the sizzle, but can you see this this position where my camera is? Is this much better than where it has been before? If it has, just put a hell yeah in the comments. This way, I'll be able to tell because I'm trying to get different angles. And then this way people can see it better until I find somebody that can sit there and hold the, the iPad that I use to, um, to show the food. So, good angle. Perfect. Okay. Then I have here a little bit of chicken broth. Okay. Now, I'm not going to use all this. It depends on how much of this stuff that you have in your pan that you're going to be able to judge. Because this is only going to steam... It's only going to steam it in here. 
Let me turn this oven on, this part of this on. Okay. There goes that click and sound. Now, in here, I bought some organic or freshly caught, um, well, we get it from the Atlantic Coast, Atlantic, Atlantic uh, Ocean. So this is all fresh uh, shrimp. I'm going to add some olive oil to this. I'm going to add some cracked pepper. Can you see that? No, nope, you can't see it. I'm going to add some salt, cracked salt. Then I'm going to take two cloves of garlic this size, okay? And I'm going to squash it in here. This is just a regular garlic press. Clean out all the inside. Some of that's still good. You're going to mix all this up, okay? Mix it all up. Now the pan I have is from Anilon. It's one of my favorite pans because it, you can use this. It doesn't. It, it it's it lasts longer than the other brand that begins with the letter C. I don't like them. I don't like that that pan. I thought it was going to be one of the best ones out there, but it turns out it ruins a lot of pans. So now you're going to grill your shrimp. I guess everything must be doing good. I must be doing good because my, my daughter's not calling me. So what you're going to do is you're going to grill your shrimp for a couple of minutes while this is while this is boiling and it's steaming with the vegetable with the uh, chicken broth. And I like the taste of the grilled shrimp. I like it better with, with this than I, because I did try it beforehand, and I mixed it in with the olive oil and garlic and with the chicken broth and that, because I, the only other way that I've made the um, butternut squash is I roast that in the oven, which is olive oil, onion, and garlic, and it turns out you could just have that with, um, with a meal in, in replacement of a baked potato. Okay, you could even mix it with a sweet potato. And it gives a nice, it's a nice root vegetable. It gives it a nice flavor. And it's healthier, that is healthier for you. So because people wanted to see something healthy, and I knew I already had the spirits in mind because I wanted to cook it. So this way you could see, you know, how, and, and get the recipe for the taste of this because the spirits turn out really, really good that way. And I don't, not one for a lot of barbecue sauce. I don't like my hands getting messed up. So. And then you turn this over. So, I, like I said, somebody wanted me to make something healthier. Because being January, everybody is on a diet. They started their yearly diet. I have not, though. I did, I mean, I should because... I know I gain weight, but I do that every year anyway, and then I lose I lose some weight before um, the summer. So, and let's face it, it's all got to be a way of, of you know, a, a lifestyle change. And no matter what you buy, it's great for a start, and it helps motivate you, which I'm a full believer in motivation when it comes to anything. You have to have something that motivates you. So in order for you to carry on, and they say that in order for things to be um, where you can continue it, you have to do it for at least 90 days in order for you to continue the, ha the new habit that you're trying to start. So, um, so I believe those products are out there for a reason, not to knock, not to knock anybody's products. Um, but you have to continue it. And you have to continue with different lifestyles of eating in order to maintain that. So, um, 
Just wanted to share that out, share that with everyone. So these are almost done because you're just going to grill them. They're already, you know, because the shrimp cooks so fast. So I'm hoping this is probably good for you people that are on keto maybe. Now I know that's a different type of, or, or is the butternut squash considered? If anybody's on the keto diet, let me know. And let me know if the butternut squash is considered a vegetable or a carbohydrate. I am not familiar with that, and I would like that information for myself. Okay. Okay, perfect, perfect timing. Because the spaghetti, the butternut spaghetti squash, had, the chicken broth has rendered down. So, and it looks like spaghetti now, so it's not going to be hard, it's not going to be real al dente, it's just going to be a nice texture. This is where you're going to add the shrimp. And then you're going to incorporate that all together, get all the flavors going. Now some people might want to add a little bit of cheese to this. I would recommend a maybe a Parmigiano Reggiano cheese because it's a creamier texture and it's not as strong as the Locatelli cheese. But it's all your preference. You could split it in your plate, put a little bit of Locatelli cheese on one, put a little bit of Parmigiano Reggiano on another, and then you could taste the difference for yourself. But I am not going to do that. I am just going to be able to, because I want to taste the flavor of the shrimp and the um, butternut. In here, I already have the spirit that I had cooked with the teriyaki and the um, brown sugar and ginger and garlic and onion. Oh, yeah. Now, what you could do, what you could do is you can flip this over, juice the whole top all over again, dip it in the juices, then hit the broiler. So this way the brown sugar, you're going to love this one. This is why I'm so freaking fat. You're going to love the way the brown sugar caramelizes on the top of the spear rib. Okay, but I'm not, I don't, I can't do that because I have another one in the oven and that's baking, but you want to do that just for, when you put the broiler on, I would say about five minutes, not even five minutes. Keep looking at it because once you start seeing it crystallize, then yeah, I know. And the ribs, I know, wowza, right? So I have something that's not, that is not, that is fattening, but yet fresh because of where it comes from, and then I have something that is healthy. So I had to do something for both of you guys. Okay. Where's my knife? Oh my God, it's fall it fell right off the bone. It fell right off the bone. Oh, blessed mother. Mm. Mm. Holy moly. I can't eat it. It's too, it's too darn hot. But just by licking my fingers from that glaze that I had it marinating in. Oh, so good. So good. Okay. Okay. See how fast this is? I mean, I'm sure somebody, you could probably do that in the crock pot too, folks. For those of you who are, um, are you know, going to work, you could throw those ribs with that same glaze and everything in the, in the crock pot, put it on low. Because, because it's a thinner meat, you don't have to worry about, um, and put it on low. You don't, you don't want to, you don't want the juice of what you, or the marinade to evaporate in there. And then when you get home, you have a mess on your hands. 
So this is the shrimp and the butternut squash. I have to taste to see if it's poison. Hold on. Wow. Not bad. Hmm. That is not bad. Pat myself on the back with this one. That was re that is really good. And guys, all I did was incorporate a recipe that I did with with like a pasta. That's all I did. And I switched it up and gave it a vegetable instead of giving it giving it a pasta. So that is really good. I gotta taste it again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know you guys are gonna be hungry. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. All right. Let's see if I can look at that spare rib. Look at that beautiful piece of spare rib. And you know what? There's not a lot of fat on this. There really isn't because she, um, because, I mean, you, you all know what they do to, to the meat and, and stuff that you get in the supermarket, right? And what they shoot it with. No wonder why we have the problems that we have today. And the, because of the chemicals that everything is injected with. Because, that's why we have all the problems that we have. So, okay, let me see if I can taste this. Without burning my fingers. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to pick this up, right? Okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my gosh. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Okay. I will post the recipe after I'm done. I will post the recipe up in the top part. So this way you can see it. I will also put it on my YouTube channel. Hashtag Jersey Mama. And you'll be able to get um, this recipe too. Or you'll be able to refer back to it. So I'm hoping that Facebook... But I also have a Facebook page, Cooking Live with Jersey Mama. And you'll be able to see a lot of my recipes from there that I've done. So you can go, and I throw some things in there too. So uh, other recipes and just things that I, like I did on the spur of the moment that I didn't actually do a whole demonstration or a presentation on what I cooked. I'll have like just quick recipes with things that I've done. So, uh, and that's on, go like my page, um, hashtag, or it's, it's just cooking live with Jersey Mama to see what's there. So anyway, this is Teresa Sidario. I am your Jersey Mama and, um, bon appetit.